Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, boys and girls. My name is Miss Kalena, and today I have a special story time for you guys, so I am super excited. I'll be reading Juneteenth from Maisie. This book is written by Floyd Cooper. So lend me your eyes and lend me your ears, and let's celebrate this story time together. Maisie wants to play outside, but it is too late. It's get a dog, Maisie. It's time to stay inside. Maisie wants a cookie, but it is time for bed. Not now, little one. It's too close to bedtime. Maisie wants to stay up late, but she is too little. Bedtime is the rule, sweet girl. Why so grumpy, sugar bear? Asked Dad. I can't go where I want, have what I want, or do what I want, answers Maisie. Well, tomorrow you can have a celebration, says Dad. What are we celebrating? Asked Maisie. We will celebrate the day your great, great, great grandpa Mose crossed into Liberty. The day will be celebrated by us and many more families on a day we call Juneteenth. Dad lifts Maisie into his arms. I bet you're tired of hearing no all the time. Well, great, great, great grandpa Mose heard no even more. Grandpa Mose worked in fields that stretched all the way to sunset. He and the other slaves would be bone tied, but they had to keep going. The masters wouldn't let them quit. But as they worked, they thought about freedom. And before they finally went to sleep at night, they prayed about freedom and made plans for change and a better future. Some slaves ran north to freedom following a bright star in the sky. They sweat, they bled, and they cried till those cries were quieted by a single proclamation from a brave president. Grandpa Mose heard the proclamation read from the balcony of the hotel on that warm June day in Galveston, Texas. Grandpa Mose heard nothing but cheers, saw nothing but happiness, and felt nothing but pride shared by all those around him. The cheers became dancing. <laughs> the dancing became celebrating. It went on and on into the night. Grandpa Mose and the others had found freedom. They continued to work, but this time they were paid for that hard work. So they worked and they saved and they never forgot the moment they heard, the moment that changed their lives forever. But things weren't perfect. Black people still struggled to stand shoulder to shoulder with white people. They still weren't treated as equals. It wasn't easy, but they never gave up. And every year on Juneteenth, they remembered. They marched for jobs, they lobbied for schools and the right to vote. They shouted for opportunity. And every year on Juneteenth, they celebrated and remembered. They learned and they grew. They forgave. They excelled and achieved. They became heroes. Now, sweet Maisie, 
It's your turn to celebrate just like great, great, great Grandpa Moe's. It's your turn, Maisie, to eat some barbecue and drink some strawberry pop. It's your turn to celebrate and to remember. On June 19, 1865, soldiers arrived in Galveston, Texas, announcing the end of the Civil War and the end of slavery in the United States. It was more than two years after President Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. Celebrated every year on June 19th, Juneteenth commemorates the announcement of the abolition of slavery and the emancipation of African American citizens throughout the entire United States. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening to my story time. I don't know about you, but I am going to get me some strawberry pop and think about the many ways that I can celebrate Juneteenth this year. I hope you do the same. Goodbye.